Hey everyone, Super Brad here, and today I'd be proud to say, not proud of the camera quality, but proud to say we are finally moving on with the countdown to Sonic Mania. So this time today we're going to be doing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, last time we did Sonic CD, and the time before that we did Sonic 1. Uh, so let's go ahead and start Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, and before I actually start the game, well, I'm already starting it, of course, but uh, before I actually start playing it, I'm just I'm gonna adjust the camera to where it's panned on Sonic himself, uh, so you know you guys can see what's going on because ooh, Sonic CD. Uh, it's so cool. But here we are, the gay. Here we are, everybody. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We're gonna do one player mode, please. Already be panned on Sonic. Yeah, it's good enough. I uh, guess. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I uh, was looking at the camera. Should be paying attention at that. So same GIF. Um, same thing with Sonic 1, definitely the same thing with Sonic CD. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna entirely beat the game, per se, but, um... I'm definitely going to go as far as I can, I'm going with this right before. Uh, the reason I didn't go as far as I could with Sonic 1 was simply because of, uh, my camera. Uh, it simply sucked. And, uh, so I got myself a different one, uh, to use. It was less, it's, it's arguably less quality, actually, it's less quality. But, uh, I always talk about my camera in these videos, like, seriously, come on, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, come on, move it. Anyway, we have Emerald Hill, my most favorite Green Hill clone ever. Uh, second place goes to Pond Tree Panic from Sonic City. Uh, I believe I mentioned that, um, uh, last time, last, uh, countdown to Sonic Mania with Sonic CD. Uh, just pan this up just a little bit, just a little bit, there we go, that's better. That, that works. Okay, so I got myself a continue. That's the, that's the sound it makes when I get a continue. Alright, so here we, are. here we are. Emerald Hill at a 2. So let's see. I get those rings right about here. Yeah. Come on. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I wish Emerald Hill was received with a bit more respect. I can understand why it's not... It's not okay, really. But <laughs> I can understand why it's not talked about a whole lot. Uh, because... Oh, watch out for that freaking monkey. I hate those enemies, too. But they're not as bad as the Cat Killers, I'll admit. The Marvel's on. Um, ugh. Oh, hey. Okay, that works. But, uh, I can understand why it's not talked about as much as, say, Green Hill or Concrete Panic. Because it has really, it's not, it has nothing going for it to make it stand out from Green Hill or Concrete Panic. You know, Green Hill... It's basically the first Green Hill, you know, it's the original, you know, you can't beat the original, so, you know, that's hence why S talked about it a bit. Actually, can we go back real quick? Uh, I wanna, okay, guess not. So, on to the boss fight, then. But, then Palm Tree Panic has some gimmicks of its own that makes it stand out from the Green Hill clones and Green Hill itself. So, uh, I should probably talk about the boss real quick, too. So, this is Eggman in this giant drill thingy with giant tires that... I swear his eye catching his clip. Look at the look at how humongous those are. Well, you can make a freaking racing game out of those. But anyway, we made mince me out of that thing and robot and decides to run away with his ten foot long propeller wingspan. So here we are, we freed the animals and we cleared Emerald Hill. Let me just move a little bit more to the my way. Hey Sonic, hey Sonic, yes, yeah, screw that. <laughs> screw up. Okay, uh, let me just check Chemical Plant from Sonic, from Sonic Generations. Uh, I played that a little bit. I uh, didn't record it though, since um, if I'm gonna record something HD, or at least attempt to, I need to, um, number one, has to be my own account. Hence, hence why I didn't do that for Sonic CD. I, oh, yes! Yes, this is good. This is good. And it is indeed possible in Chemical Plant to outrun, I repeat, outrun the camera panel. So, oh, okay, that was bad. Eh. So I'm also gonna be showing off the special stages of each game I come across. I showed off, I showed off, I think I showed off Sonic on special stage, and I know for a fact I showed off uh, Sonic City's special stages multiple times and failed. Maybe I'll get one of Sonic to a Chaos symbol, uh, except in <laughs> Sonic City that wasn't Chaos symbols, it was Time Stones. But um, yeah. Okay, oh, 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 nailed it. See, I'm actually much better at Sonic City than I am in any of the other classic games. And I say that because I managed it... Okay, so for Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles, 
combined, it took several years for me to get to get near, at least near the end of the game. Several years. Sonic CD, it only takes me a couple of tries, and boom, I'm already there near the end of the game. Now, granted, I haven't beat it yet, but I'm like Met Metallic Madness Act 3, you know, where the boss is and stuff like that. So, you know. Alright, nailed that really good. Okay, if we come over here, I believe we have an extra life. Get that. Thank you. Alright, come on. Alright, up here, there we go. Hey, Tails. I forgot Tails was here, too. So, Sonic 2 introduces Tails. And not Amy. Uh, even though, by the time Sonic 2 actually released, Amy was unheard of. Uh, I know technically Sonic 2, in terms of release, I probably shouldn't have done that. Although, I probably could have. Yeah, I could have done that. But in terms of release dates, Sonic 2 technically comes first, as it was released in 1992, Sonic CD was released in 1993, uh, which actually kicks up the flow of yearly Sonic and Sonic 1 1991, Sonic 2 1992, Sonic CD 1993, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles 1994. After that, the trend kind of ended, but uh... In terms of the chronological story, like the story, I do believe Sonic CD comes in between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 because think about it. Alright, if so if the beginning of Sonic Sonic wait, hold on, let me rephrase that. If the beginning of if the ending of Sonic 2 uh, is tied in with the beginning of Sonic 3, then that means there's no you know, you know there's no time for Sonic CD in between those two games. And it couldn't be, it definitely couldn't have been in between Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Because, hey, those two are supposed to be the same game. Obviously, there's no in-betweens there. And it can't, I repeat, can't be uh, after Sonic and Knuckles. Because, Tails originally is not in Sonic CD. Therefore, and you know how Tails is, right? Tails' personality is to follow Sonic. Because Sonic is his best friend. You know? He goes on adventures with Sonic. Hence why he's even here in the first place. Hey, Tails flying and stuff like that. But, um... Alright, we're already here at the boss. Wait, hold on. Did I already do that one part? Oh, well. Uh... Oh, oh, stop looking at the camera. Ouch! Okay, almost died there. Let's go. Let's just, just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. Don't, don't pay attention to anything else. There we go. I got hit. I uh, could do much better than that, but, um... Uh, I beat it nonetheless, and I didn't get trolled, almost did, but uh, not quite didn't. Get out of the screen. Alright, so the chemical plant's complete. I can't believe it was zipped through chemical plant that fast. That just goes whole, that just goes to show how freaking good I am. You know, know right? Aquatic ruin. Mmm, I have beef with this stage. And not the good kind. You know, the beef to get and, uh, and, um, your hamburgers. No, those, that's good beef. Bad beef? Mmm. I hate this stage, guys. The water, I hate it. I swear it's just as bad as Labyrinth, except that would be, uh, that would be going way too far. Uh, because nothing, nothing is as bad as Labyrinth. Except for Metropolis, that's freaking horrible. Uh, <laughs> but the stage itself is a fine idea, I'd say. You know, also an aquatic ruin, so I, you know, I can't go wrong there. Ooh, I'm still trying to show off those special stages. Uh, I will, I'll get there eventually, hopefully. I was expecting to get there in the first stage, like I did with Green Hill. I don't think I showed off the uh, Sonic City special stage in Concrete Panic. In fact, I know I didn't. I want to avoid the water as much as possible, guys, because the water part is what sucks. And these fly enemies, they're annoying. They're not difficult to beat, per se, like the Catacillers, although, uh, the freaking monkeys from Emerald Hill. But they're just plain old annoying, you know? Alright, so we go down in the water. It was okay here. Uh, because there's a platform right there, and then I find... Oh, gonna, uh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. But we got some rings, which is nice. <clears throat> My voice is cracking up there. What? I'm only freaking 14, okay? Don't freaking judge me. <laughs> I'll get better eventually, I promise. 
All right, so got another. Oh, was that? Um, no, that was a one-up, not a not an extra life. Now, in Act Two, you're gonna want to be careful of the duck there, because if you fall down there, you fall in the water, and I hate that freaking section right there, because uh, I. Uh, okay, this better not be permanent water. Also, those little blue fish in the freaking water is annoying. Is annoying too. Don't fall down there. Don't fall down there. You freaking. Well, I guess I wouldn't do a video without a fail. Am I, am I right? Right? Come on. Crap. I mean, at least Sonic doesn't, you know, run out of freaking breath every five seconds, Labyrinth. So I'm looking at you. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. There was a pocket of air there. I thought for a second I wasn't going to make that one. Go ahead and get that in the way. And I move so remarkably slow. Come on. Oh. Does a ruin have to be this flooded? Like, I know it's aquatic ruin, it's aquatic and stuff, but why does it have to be this flooded? Bruh, 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 bruh. Come on, come on, come on, fill me up, fill me up, come on. And not in that, not, no. Air, okay, come on. There we go. No, well, you don't. That's right, you better go off this freaking screen. Uh, actually, that was a good thing I hit that bumper. Um, otherwise, I probably, it wouldn't have, it would, I would have taken way longer to get to the air bubble uh, than it would have originally taken. Okay, hey there. Take this path right up here. We don't want to go any lower than we have to. Spin dash is incredibly nerfed here. I heard to be slowed, and by nerve, I mean slowed. Uh, shouldn't bother with you. Now we can kill you. Alright, let's move on. Let's please, can we please move on? I hate... Oh, what? Uh, I just freaking... Uh, I'm, I thought I'd die. I thought I'd die there for a second. Don't question it unless you die. Don't question it unless you die. I also don't really like going fast in these areas either, because... Because that means I might potentially run into a patch of water I didn't want to go in. Huh? What, wait, huh? There's a secret area up there? Yeah, I might just check this out. What's this secret area? <gasps> Hello! I found a new area, guys. I didn't know this was here. So this is this video has proven something worthy. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom! Already here at the boss. You can't see it, but uh, I wish you could. Basically, these tall totem pillars here. And uh, every time Robotnik knocks his big giant hammer onto it, uh, he uh, lets one of them. Um, ra it, it's random, but uh, an arrow from any particular height will show up. And you have to hop on the arrow to get to uh, Robotnik and hit them and hit him. Basically, if you didn't get all that, just watch a different. <laughs> watch Kobotermon's let's play on this game. He he has full screen on this cool. He has full screen on this, so he's probably his is probably a better uh, video to watch than mine. And more than likely, he won't even notice this video either, uh, as no one is watching to share this thing. Yep. All right, let's rescue the animals once more. We blazed through the past three stages like a freaking uh, Sonic Hedgehog, but you know, ghosts definitely don't exist in this world, so you know. Okay, adjust the camera a little bit there. Yes, Sonic, keep, let's keep moving. The only the game will let you move on. More. Casino Night Zone. Now, I was talking about a casino known a casino zone in Sonic 1 before I was abruptly and rudely cut off by my annoying camera. So what I was going to say was, in Spring Yard, um, Spring Yard was seen as like a casino stage-ish kind of thing. But I didn't quite see it as a casino stage. And rather just, you know, like, a random stage, you know? Like, it didn't really have a definite theme. And then there was Collision Chaos from Sonic CD that was had more casino-like features. But still didn't quite feel like a casino, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, almost got crushed there. Um, this one, however, this one takes it over the top. This is a proper casino stage. Bright lights, proper, uh, somewhat proper, uh, pinball mechanics. Okay, come on. And I love it when you get stuck between, um, bumpers for like a couple of seconds. Cause like, your score just goes up enormous, like, greatly. And it's nice that it does that. Uh, okay, we got some bonus points right there. Every uh, okay, 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 okay. These are also nice too. Casino night, best casino stage Sonic has to offer. So 
So if you're looking to uh, finish up, you know, um, satisfy your gambling senses, uh, Casino Night is your uh, best bet. And that's nice, they got some extra life there, but I already have seven. I haven't died once in this entire freaking game, but I probably just jinxed myself saying that, so... Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go! It's, it's very fun traveling through here. Of course, there are minor... <gasps> we can show up the special stages. Okay, these are the special stages, everybody. The, um, half pipes right here. Okay, so what you have to do is collect a certain amount of rings. In this case, it wants us 40. So what you have to do is collect a certain amount of rings and uh, make it to the checkpoint. If you don't collect enough rings by the time you reach the, uh, reach the next checkpoint, you will be kicked out of the stage, basically. And there are three checkpoints, right? And each time you pass one, the ring count gets higher, okay? So that one wanted us to get 40. This one wants 80, right? Right, okay. So we're going to get 80. I missed a little bit there. Um, and I hear that these special stages take a lot of memorization, and I can completely agree. Also, your only uh, real um, hazard here is bombs that make you lose rings. Uh, I think 10 per hit per bomb. I, I, I'm not quite sure. Alright, we got 100, 116, so I think we just might do this one. I don't know about any other ones. Uh, because after this, it gets extra, extremely hard, extremely difficult. So, oh, okay, missed that one by a lot. Um, did I get this one? No, it says 180, right? Or 150? Somewhere around that there. Something like that. And that's... Did we get it? Yes, we did. We got ourselves a Chaos Emerald, folks. Uh, if we can bug the screen too, man, I swear. Uh, do we get an extra life? No? Okay. Well, we've got one Chaos Emerald. That's good enough for me. We got a, one Chaos Emerald in Sonic 1, I believe. Uh, I didn't get anything in Sonic CD. Uh, so at least we got something here in Sonic 2 to make up for our losses. For our painful, painful losses. In fact, that's why I'm- Oh, hey, thanks, thanks for the ring scales. But that's why I'm here, guys. That's why I'm here in the casino. To, uh, to get- to- to sat- to, uh, satisfy my depression of, uh, losing in, uh, Sonic CD. But, uh, you know, most of that is gone thanks to me defeating Metal Sonic, and, uh, I'm here now, so, you know, it's not about feelings anymore, it's all about money. At least until we beat this stage and move on to, I believe, Hilltop. Yeah, it's Hilltop up next. Jesus Christ, we're already nearly halfway through the game. Good God, it's only 17 minutes. I didn't move the sign, though. Bugs and stuff, man, I swear. Okay, let's see. Alright, we got through Act 1, uh, which, surprisingly, was a little longer than I thought. 2 minutes and 32 seconds for Act 1, but probably because of that special stage that made it feel a little longer. Um, I will attempt to get more. Uh, don't, don't fear. You know, <laughs> I will attempt to get more, but, um, I can't guarantee any more than one Chaos Emerald. So, you know, <laughs> I can guarantee a good couple of uh, Sonic 3 uh, emeralds, and by Sonic 3 I mean Sonic and Knuckles, because Sonic and Knuckles special stages I have under the wrap. You know, I know that one, like the back of my, actually I don't know it like the back of my hand, I know it like the, uh, my, the front of my hand, because I look at my hand, that's something I can look at. Or, you know what, that sounds bad, um, let me change that. Uh, I know it like um, the uh, layout of my controller. There we go, that's more uh, gamer friendly. Oh, okay, that can get you crushed, like Tails. Tails sets a good example there. Okay, come on. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just, I always thought, like, uh, see where it says Sonic and Miles right here? Sonic, Miles. Miles is Tails, by the way. Um, I always thought that rings uh, above Sonic's logo right here is for Sonic to collect, and rings above Miles' name is for Miles to collect. And they're like, Miles, I stole your rings, and stuff like that. It's, 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 it's me, okay? It's me, not you. That has to go through this. Oh, okay. That has to go through the torture. That is, um... Then my childhood. I actually had a pretty good one. A very good childhood. I played lots of games. You know, that was when I, I was introduced to games in the first place. Can I go any higher? No, I cannot. Miles, so your rings. By the way, I make that joke out for the rest of the casino night. Which actually is not uh, very long at this point. I'm sure I'm somewhat close. Oh, we could have gotten another... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Yes, there we go, we got in. So special stage attempt number two. Here we go. This is gonna be different, so we need 50 range this time instead of 40. Um, I recognize that, actually. I never noticed it until now, but they go up by 10, I believe. Up, oh, doo-doo. You, you, you need to be very fast, too. You need to be very, oh, very fast. Uh, but fast enough, but with great, like, reaction timing. Otherwise, you know, Tails will be a, uh, a douche, uh, a jerk, and, um, mess you up. Because Tails can also collect rings, as you can clearly see there. And I'm collecting absolutely hardly any rings at this point. Don't go for the tone buff top, guys. Go! I'm gonna fail this one badly, am I? Yep. Yeah. George, what the frick are you doing? Trying to get in my video, huh? Oh, yeah, I messed up royally. Not enough rings yet. Taunt me all you want. Freaking tail jumping in front of me all the freaking time. Yeah, guys, I could. I, I, I said I couldn't guarantee any more than one Chaos Emerald. I know I've gotten more, at least two at most. Maybe three. Uh, if it was a miracle. A true miracle uh, sent by the heavens above. <laughs> Mm, unfortunately, I only get one, but one's enough for me, you know, as long as I get one. You know, I was hoping I'd at least get one time stone from Sonic CD, but that was a disappointment. But don't go down there. Go down, go down here. This is the way to progression. Alright, so I try to break all of these things, because they give you plus ten uh, points every time you bounce on them. So I try to break all of those. And I think the red ones actually give you bonus, too, so that's nice. And you manipulate that to, uh, to your advantage. Uh, back then, back when I did multiplayer and stuff, multiplayer was the only way I had experience with Casino Night. Um, because I can only ever make it to Chemical Plant and, uh, die in the second act. And the enemy, this, you know, there's only ever one type of enemy in the stage, too, and that was those little bumper creatures. Um, and here we are at the boss, right here. Well, let me just turn the camera down a little bit. So my tactic is basically to spin dash. You, you're supposed to use these pinball flippers right here and uh, hit them with like that, but my tactic is much more easier. I originally had a horrific time uh, with this boss uh, because of various reasons. You know, I'm a noob. I was a noob, and I still sort of am, but I am better. Oh, okay, that's something. That's something. Okay. Avoid those bombs, too, by the way. Tails. That's a good example. That's what happens when you get hit by a bomb, kids. And see, Tails is getting it. Tails knows how to how to roll. Literally. See, <laughs> see Tails. He didn't see it. Did he? Tails got hit. Oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, that's too bad. Get him when he's about to drop it. Get him when he's about to drop it. Right now. Okay, I got hit there. Don't don't do that. Don't don't do that. Okay, let's try on this. Actually, no. Come on. To this side. Will it hit me? Please say no. Yes. Come on. I originally had a lot of trouble because I was not used to the pinball based boss. This is probably the most unique boss in Sonic 2 other than the final boss and uh, the Silver Sonic boss, which is basically a robotic silver version of Sonic. The first Robo Sonic. Now I can pan this back. Or up, or was it down or up? I can't remember. That was like that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I was like, in Sonic 2 specifically, I always like to stay on top of the capsule too. I don't know. Instinct, I guess. Hilltop Zone. Uh, this is where I made it in my Let's Play, original Let's Play of Sonic 2. I don't have any other Let's Play, so I don't know. I guess it's kind of pointless to call it original. And now I don't need Jordan's help anymore because screw him, he doesn't know where to go. Alright, uh. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. This is the part where we died out with these seesaws because Jordan kept screwing me over with them. But uh, I can, I, I can pretty much. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I thought it was gonna crush me or something, so I decided to wait, but I jumped at the same time because like those things can't crush me, right? You know. Uh, this is where we died at, or somewhere up here. But here's an area where you can jump up and get some extra rings and some height. I believe it was somewhere like here. Where we had to, like, climb our way... Yeah, right here. This, around this area is where we, uh, failed. Uh, we died there. Or down there somewhere. But from, from, from here on, it's... TAILS! Did everything wrong, guys. 
Kale did everything wrong. I was gonna say, uh, continuing my sentence. Okay. I like that section right there. Get done a dozen points. <laughs> More than a dozen, actually. If you want to be specific here. Now, you don't even have to bounce away here. Just, just jump. Just jump across. You don't have to bounce. You need to see saws properly. Because we're cool kids. That's right, Tail. That's what you get. Yeah, that's right. Not, it's not, it's not good now that you're on the opposite end of the, uh, of the seesaw. Is it Tails? Tails has never screwed me over this badly in a Sonic game like that. Well, except for Sonic 2's boss and stuff. Okay, get it. You wanna go high? Oh, uh, thanks for collecting those for me. That's gonna be real nice. That's really nice. Okay, we got an extra invincibility. Okay, enough mumbling. I'm not gonna go down there because it'll spring at least straight into, um... Straight into spikes, and I'm not wasting my, my invincibility over that. Uh, what you're supposed to do, actually, is kind of come down here, go, uh, before that law of William invisibility ends, and there, boom. We pretty much win at life. Oh, hold on. Aww. I didn't have enough rings. Not like I was going to get it anyway. I think it actually can retry um, the same special stage from last time. That sign is not in the center of the stage. Look, it's all the way over there. See it? Behind that one. It's strange. It's strange this game is. Strange this game is. Hilltop. Act 2. Here we are. And I hope you guys can see. I mean, I can see. I'm looking at the camera. Uh, was looking at the camera. Um, and I can. I guess I can see. I mean, really, all you need to focus on is Sonic and Tails. Well, when he's on the screen, at least. Um, I, mean, I mean, you know, I, if I see secrets, I will tell. I will say. You know, I won't be afraid to let everyone know I found a goodie. Or something like. You know, I think you all get it. You yeah, hopefully. Uh, but you know, I noticed um, a long while back that the uh, ground is blue, correct? Right? You can kind of almost see it ish. It's blue, right? But it has the same exact patterns as Emerald Hill. And I always call this an Emerald Hill clone. It's a clone of a clone. Except this is not. This is not what I consider a Green Hill clone. This is what I consider a semi-clone-ish. You know, it's not quite a clone because it has features that uh, it wouldn't be in a starter stage, like a very uh, like first level and stuff like that. So, you know, I consider this its own its own original thing that no one appreciates whatsoever. Not even myself, really. Hilltop is kind of okay, but yeah, Hilltop is kind of just there. Uh, sir, to serve as an obstacle in your grand quest. Yeah, how do you like that, Tails? Actually, there's something down there. There's a one-up. Uh, right down here, I believe. And yes, there is. There's a one-up. So we can spring ourselves back up here. And hopefully, yes, spin dash are okay. Not. We got, still, still got some rings. We still got some rings. Okay, I don't think I've ever gotten hit by those before. I think maybe once or twice when I was being lousy. But not really, you know, yeah. And now we move on to one of the most ridiculous boss fights. Ridiculously easy boss fights. Watch this. It costs a couple of rings to beat them. But, um, like literally all of them, but, but except for one in this case. But, um, you know, as long as you beat them quickies, because if we don't care about Hilltop, why should we care about this boss? You know what I mean? Yeah, Sonic of Eureka. So he's like, well, let's move on to the best stage ever in Sonic 2, Mystic Cave. Now it's going to be quiet so you guys can hear this music. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't resist. Okay, so back to commentating. These, the only thing I really hate about this stage though, I don't really dislike, but I don't really like, are those freaking firefly enemies, because not even in invincibility mode, when you have an invincibility power up, 
you when their lights are on, their light flickers and stuff, you still can't beat them like that. And you have to like wait for them for their uh, light to go off. See, like those freaking jerks. And it's annoying because you can run smack dab into one of them uh, while going in one of those fast sections and stuff and not even know it and stuff like that. So it doesn't really let you know what's up ahead and stuff. Although, uh, considering we're nearly halfway through the game, I probably should actually be cautious of what I'm doing, but we're not at that stage yet. Um, see, look, I didn't kill him. Oh, so, oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, oh, oh, bruh, bruh, I got 101 rings, 100, 100 rings, uh, nearly ran out of invisibility at the last second and killed that thing in the ground. Which are also annoying, but not as annoying as the freaking, uh, firefly enemies. Alright, so we also have these, uh, vines that we have to grab on to to unlock these pathways, and then these vines carry you up or down. So, you know... Okay, let's go down, cross there, falling platforms, tails dies, and we all get a having inning. Also, I just want to point out that I have ten lives, guys. Ten lives. Haven't died at all. You know, I'm jinxing myself as we currently speak. I don't know if it continues, by the way. Um, let's see if I... I'm going to try my absolute hardest, guys. I'm going to try my absolute hardest to beat this. I think, so far, I'm doing absolutely well. Uh, I haven't died at all. Uh, I've got hit several times, but, you know, I managed to just pick myself back up. Oh, hold on. Something here. And these are nice. You know, these, these are nice. Uh, they're... They're nice. That's all I have to say about those. Uh, those particular gimmicks right there. I enjoy pulling down levers and stuff like that to, uh, unlock, um, areas, too. In a Sonic game, you know. Slow down just a little bit, you know. Because, because let's remember... Sonic is still a platformer, and, um, he should still be treated as such. Can't get those events for some reason. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, another chance at the special stage then, I guess. Exactly 50 rings, too, so we had just barely enough. And this is the exact same one, guys. This is the same one. Let me just, uh, fix the camera angle a little bit. Uh, you guys can't fully see Tails, but who cares about him anymore, right? Uh, let's see here, um... Okay. Same thing, same thing, same thing. It's not so. It's not like Sonic One or Sonic CD, uh, where you have to just move on to the next one <laughs> since you just failed the one you just previously did. This one has you restart the one you failed, um, which is nice. You know, I like that. Let's see if we can actually get this one. We get 100 rings. I think we can manage. Tails. Okay, life lesson: don't go after those. Just go after the ones on the ground. That way you have more control. Tails. Please don't die. 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 Please don't die, Tails. Please don't die, Tails. Please don't die, Tails. Please don't die, Tails. Okay, cool. Okay. 140 rings. That's a little bit of a chore, but hey, that's what the special stages are for, am I right? And the worst part is going around one of those curves and uh, seeing just a pit of spikes waiting for you. Not spikes, but bombs. And we only have four rings to go! Tails, come on! Tails! So yeah, we did lose ten rings there, which is, uh, that theory is confirmed. Bruh, come on, give me some more rings, give me some more rings! Bruh, bruh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, we were six rings away, too. Oh well, can't be helped. Uh, move on. And that lights in the way I know. So, I guess get this. Ah, I never noticed this particular spot. Um, but uh, I guess now I notice it. And these slow moving things. Uh, to be honest, I wish they were moving a little bit faster, you know what I mean? Okay, kill him before he does any. Before he has a chance to screw me to flip over. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. You know, you're gonna pull that full cap off. Kill you. I hate you. And we received, uh, 5, 15, uh, I'm sorry, guys, I can't read numbers. <laughs> I can't read numbers. That's a nice one. Okay. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, but I don't know why that vine's there. Oh, that spring, either way, which one, which, I, either which way you take. 
you know, it's kind of just there. Um, but I guess it's nice if they want you to take multiple waves and get those rings and jump up here. Uh, so long as you guys go around about right here. If that ring tails, you stay up there. Because you suck. That's why. And only in Sonic 2 does he suck. And every other game is good. He's, he's, he's okay. But Sonic 2, the game that introduced the little boy in the first place. Should I go for it? Eh, let's not. For the sake of uh, having rings. For this boss fight. Uh, since every time you do... Um, okay, now the camera's panned on Sonic. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Tails. For actually getting him. Now with the Robotnik has his drilling thingy-majiggy. I think he got, he, he panned across the screen. And I have to really focus here because some of these rocks are spiked. Others are not. The ones that aren't spiked are safe. Uh, the ones that are, are of course dangerous. So we can hit him uh, two times. I could have hit him a third time there. Uh, but I didn't want to risk it. Uh, hence why, um... I probably suck because I don't take proper, uh, risks. That I should. Come on, can I hit him one more time? There we go. Actually, I hear the exhaust on the, um, like the fire on the very bottom of this thingy here. Actually, does not deal damage, so I could actually hit him, um, uh, while he's as ascending into the, um, ceiling. Uh, but I didn't do that because I forgot about it and only realized it as I landed the final hit. But, uh, at that point it would have been useless anyway. Anyway, here we are, the most annoying stage, not counting that one stage. Uh, Oil Ocean, I don't really like this stage because... But yeah, anywho, this is where things get, uh, serious. You know, this is when you're gonna have to really nail it in the coffin. Otherwise, you'll be the one in the coffin. Um... Okay, didn't make quite, didn't quite make that. There's a platform up there, too. I wanna try and reach that. There's a couple of rings. By a couple, I mean like freaking um, a whole bunch. Uh, oh, uh, see these octopuses. These guys I can handle, but there's another annoying enemy in this stage, and that's those flying seahorses that shoot I don't know, black bullets or something. I don't know, oil bullets. I, I don't know what they shoot. They shoot projectiles. We'll keep it at that. Keep it simple. But, uh, they shoot- oh my god, really. Oh, got us, uh... See these things right there, you couldn't see it, I don't think you could at least. If you could, then, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're a long-time Sonic fan like myself, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, those freaking seahorse enemies, I hate them. They're just as bad as Slicers from, uh, Sonic... Not Sonic, uh, but from Monstropolis Zone. Yeah, I said it, okay? When I said that stage, all those, uh recently and uh, all the other times like okay okay it's gonna backtrack then uh, is this backtracking or is this just the bottom part of the stage but uh anywho i just don't really like oil ocean for what it is you know it's not uh, can i go down here yes i can i know there was a secret somewhere sega cannot hide from me okay oh, oh wait, something down there my tails didn't get to land there for a second, but he got to land anyway. Okay, come on, kill you. Oh, oh! Why did I fall off? I have no idea. Why I... Please tell me I have some rings. Please tell me I have some rings. Okay, good, good, I have some rings. Got rings? <laughs> yeah, because the, the, the ad advertisement from Sonic uh, Adventure 2. But we're not playing that, we're playing Sonic 2, not Sonic Adventure 2. Seahorse enemies. And what makes them annoying is not only can they, you know, be frustrating to attack and stuff, like so, but, um, they can also go through, uh, floors and ceilings. They don't, they don't, they not, they're not a freak, apparently they're not, um, they're not wallproof. Well, they are wallproof, but apparently they are wallproof, um, and can go through that stuff so freaking much. I hate those guys. Uh, least favorite enemies in Sonic 2. Yes, even worse than the slicers. And the only, th the closest thing that can come that comes to top them are the freaking star, the asterons or the starfish enemies from Metropolis. Those are just, mm, ah. I mean, that's why I say that once it hits Oil Ocean, that's when things get real. That's when we're near the end of the game. Also, 
things get real, because after this, we head straight to Metropolis, and good god, Metropolis. I don't know, why. it's like every Sonic game, every classic Sonic game, uh, it, with the exception, well, actually, no, Sonic 3 and Knuckles also has that stage. Um, I say that stage, when I say that, I mean I'm describing a stage from a particular game, any game, really, that I've played. That's just horrible, that's just, I don't like. And I'm gonna just pause that real quick. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, okay. Uh, try to avoid that bumper and kill you, angry fish. You, thank you, Tails, finally, you, per you have, uh, proved a purpose in your existence. Other than to be here for the second player, aka Jordan. Um, but I think Tails is a nice addition to Sonic 2, you know? He's perfect for the role, I'd say. And there is something around here that you can hop onto, I believe. It's this. Yes, yes, this is the one. There we go, we got a whole bunch of rings there. Hopefully, we don't even lose it. Hopefully, we don't lose it, but we probably will. Knowing me, of course. <laughs> oh, on those things. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, I knew it'd be some from someone like you. And you, see, look, they're going through walls. I don't know if you guys can see it. Jordan, please turn that down. Oh, it was Jordan all the whole time, wasn't it? Uh, anyone from the outside of the room, thankfully. Because that's kind of beyond my control. Tails, what are you doing? But uh, to make up for the difficulty of, uh, of Oil Ocean, it's not as difficult as other stages I've experienced. You know, Metropolis. Um, to make it up for the difficulty of, um, of Oil Ocean, almost said Metropolis here for a second, um, the bosses, the boss of uh, Oil Ocean actually is not bad. It's not easy, it's not, it's easy, that's what I meant to say, it's not hard at all. Okay, we just, can I bounce right back up there? Yes, I can. Okay, okay, jump up there. This is what I was looking for right here, these platforms. Oh, okay. Tails is stuck down there. Tails, fly. Okay, we got some invincibility, which is nice. Love it. Loving the new sparkles, by the way, Sonic. I actually, I prefer the Sonic, um, Sonic CDs and Sonic 1's uh, sparkle animation over all the others. Because it's, it, there's much, there's more sparkles, you know what I mean? Like, these here look more smoother, in terms of animation and stuff, much more smoother, but I like more sparkles and stuff, like, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's, it, I guess it suits the slimness of Sonic, even though the classic version uh, is more chubbier than the Dreamcast and the uh, modern versions of them. Um, Come on, come on. Okay, I guess I can't go up there. But what we're trying to do is climb our way up this oil slide. You know what this reminds me of? Actually, climbing up this oil uh, slide thing. It actually feels like climbing up one of those uh, slides from your local park and stuff. Like it's like that almost. All right, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. Okay, we only have uh, one easy shot at this. Come on, can we make it? Yes, we can. Yes, we made it. So now we can progress. And boom, 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 and boom. And not the bad kind of boom. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, um, but yeah. Alright, we pulled that off greatly. Um, my sparkles there too, Sonic. I will say though, the Sonic 2 sparkles don't look half bad either. Okay, so we're about, we're almost at the boss. Okay, I forgot we had had invincibility. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's a checkpoint. Uh, but uh, we, don't, we don't get to half that, unfortunately. Uh, as we are pretty much already here at the boss. And what you're gonna want to do is basically do the same thing from uh, uh huh. Okay, uh, but not that. We might actually die here now that I think about it, because I have no rings now. That was supposed to go well, but uh, what was supposed to happen was that you're supposed to infinitely bounce on him until you until he sinks back into the uh, oh, it, it, my words do not work. Bad, basically that uh, until you know 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. This side works too, this side works too. Uh, like I tend to stick to the other side though. We have no rings, uh, trust me on that one, we have no rings. And I think after this, that's when he showed his ugly face. And that's when we can uh, finally move out of here. We have no rings, which is okay, because we just beat the guy. Uh, let's pan the camera a little bit. There we go, now you can see Sonic. And that's, that's, uh, that's Oil Ocean. I kind of a little higher for better coloring. God, it sucks. So, here we are, everybody, in Metropolis. Metropolis Zone. Well, let the torture begin, shall we? You know, we must ask your arms. But I hate those things because when you're going up screws, right? There's this gimmick uh, later on in the stages. I think it also shows up in Act 1. There's uh, the gimmick that, uh, okay, immediately lost that shield. But wait, oh, no, I closed it? I didn't know that could do that. Or did it just do it by itself by coincidence? I managed to press the button when it closed back up. But here we are introdu- oh, what? Here we are introduced to another character. This sucker! And that was the shell cracker, I believe. Uh, there's crab and enemies. These will crush you, so be careful about those. Music's not bad, though, but after a while, the pain kind of sets in. And, uh, it, it becomes, uh, very, very horrible. And, uh, you don't want to listen to it anymore. So, you know, that eventually that's how it feels. Yeah. Feels like crap, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Can I? Okay, I guess I just have to do that then. Uh, okay. Get those rings, get as many as you can. I could have died there, actually, if I had lifted up at the wrong time. We'll just wait until we hit the slicers. Just wait until we get to there. Like, I know. It's gonna be horrible, isn't it? It's gonna be terrible. Okay, we managed to get 100 rings in a row and another in another life, too. I'm surprised. Okay, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and I am being tortured. Yes, guys, and Tails is having a freaking seizure moment. That's what, what, what? Tails died, but didn't die? That's some um, new. But yeah, uh, in all seriousness, though, I had went to go eat, had something to eat, so I had myself a snack, I had some pizza, um, uh, <laughs> while the video was paused. So I bet you all are jealous right now. That's right, you don't get any pizza. You know, none of you deserve it. I have a feeling I should... Oh, slicers. Hold on. Am I going in circles? Huh. I feel like this area is for me. Hold up. Hold up. Going a little too fast there, buddy. Uh, but then again, this is a Sonic... This is Sonic the Hedgehog. You're never supposed to go too fast. Uh, that doesn't exist. That is not, uh, in my, this is not in our vocabulary. So what we're actually supposed to, wait, we can skip that entire section? Or is that a different section? Yeah, this is a different section, so we can go all the way down here. Huh? Well, we can just jump over all that anyway, so. We're good. You know what I mean? We're, we're good. Unless they're going to slicer. Astrons! Go, 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 go. Gotta go fast. Get that. This should be relatively easy to pass through. You might get hit or two. Or two. Uh, two, two. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Hi. Tails. If you ever mock. Oh, this is the first time I'm dying, too. And my. God, I, I told you guys I jinxed myself. And we're at the break, I'm back. What the flip? Please tell me this is Act 2. Please tell me this is Act 2. This Act 1, isn't it? Oh, no. It's already started, guys. The torture that is Metropolis has started. It has begun. Okay, just barely missed that. Let's go fast in the zone. Let's just, 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 just go fast. Let's, let's go fast. 
Why? Because I want to go fast. That's right, you can't own me with your extendable claw anymore. Alright, could have died there. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. But uh, I have 11 lives now, so that's, um... Okay, that's the thing. Have I been down in this direction? I think I might have, but I'm not sure. Careful there, Sonic, my boy. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, could have died there again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. Uh, down here should do it. Go ahead and do all of that stuff. Alright, we got another life. We got to, we're back at 12, people. We're back at 12. And that's great. Tails, don't get on here. I hear that if Tails gets on with you, that it activates the astronauts in the walls when you're going up. And that could be, um, pretty annoying. Because astronauts have, you know, uh, a certain, uh, you have to be within a certain distance to activate an Asteron and trigger their attack. And, uh, Sonic is not as wide as Tails is. And if Tails is with you, that kind of just doubles the uh, sprite. Well, not really doubles it, but, um, you know, Tails, Crush Tails, Tusk Crush, Tails, Crush Tails, Boom! Tails dead. <laughs> Tails dead. Okay. Enough jokes. Come on, Tails. Get out of there. Still, managed to get over 100 rings. I'm surprised. I wish you guys could see it, but I think I... If I manage to keep my rings uh, till the end, which I'm probably not. We're at 136. Okay. Wait. Wait! Ugh. Okay, we're still at uh, a pretty good distance. A uh, pretty good amount of rings, I have to say. Oh, that's right, those exist. Wait, is there... I used to think there was a bottomless pit down there, but apparently there isn't. You! Alright, we may now continue. Uh, thank you, rings, for protecting my life. Uh, so many freaking times. Hold on, okay, I thought I was stuck here for a second. Let's go down. Okay, apparently we're not supposed to do that. Yes! Finally, we got past Act 1. And, um, did I get... Okay, only 300. I would have gotten more. I would have gotten, uh, probably a continue, even. Or extra life or something. Um, yep, that button stops us from going to that lava, which is always nice. Okay, now, this is where lava is introduced into Metropolis. This is where, uh, we all died. Um... My name is Master Garrison! That's nice, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> That's what you get, boy! Okay, can you please get out of my countdown to Sonic Mania video? Alright, kids, it is now my job to teach you the theory of evolution. <laughs> this is what you get, or fight it. <laughs> I, it's actually quite entertaining, I love this. You can do that as much as you want. I, in fact, I'd welcome it with open arms. <laughs> okay, let's keep this PG-30, yes. <laughs> no, seriously, still stop. They're activated! And funny thing, though, here's just a, a, a contribute to, uh, a contribute to, uh, a con- a con- a a con- That you are, Jordan, that you are. <laughs> Jordan, let's, uh, this is a countdown to Sonic Mania video, can you please? This is pretty important, man. I mean, I welcome the fact that Mr. Garrison is being joined. Uh, is joining us today. Asshole. Well, geez, keep that up. I won't keep you on. Misbehaving. Hey. Oh, hi. Wait, huh? Oh. Okay, Mr. Garrison's a feminist, everybody. Right? 
I don't think I should ask Mr. Hat. Did you ask Mr. Hat? No, I did not. I don't want to, Mr. Hat. No! You hear me? Well, this is kind of what Metropolis is, you know? <laughs> I'm not already here, man. Oh, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. Oh, okay, we lost our life. Let's see if we can go. Shut up, Really? <laughs> okay. I'm glad you did. That's a shut up, Frank. Well, at least you're done now, right? Yes, you're done. That okay. was payback for it, in my view. Well, I mean, it's not really much payback. I kind of enjoyed that. That's payback. Maybe, you know what? We should do a video on uh, the with soundboards. Yes, we should. We should do something. Yeah, let's do that someday. Um, but uh, but after the countdown to Sonic Mania... Which is tomorrow. Sonic Mania comes out tomorrow. Comes out in three days to when you're two days off. I do two days off. Fuck! It comes out in three days. Fuck! Well, that depends on what time it is. So either two, three or two days. Have Tails got hit. <laughs> it sounded like a death noise. Well, he did technically die. Oh, thanks. Uh, put him on this platform here so I can get this invisibility. Invisibility, not... Wait, huh? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Inv invincibility. I wish. Wait, I'm pretty sworn he... Jordan, stop landing on the floor. You know exactly why you keep landing on the floor. <laughs> Tails is me right now. Oh, 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 because I almost died there. Tails is literally me right now. Literally. Oh! No, wait, oh, okay, we got one ring. I guess it's good enough. I think Mr. Garrison told you to shut up, faggot. That wasn't very nice. Wait, what the frick? Why is it not Tails? Oh, hey, you. That's why we don't need Tails in the side game anymore. No, 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 no. He's only he's only harmful in uh, Sonic 2. Yes. Even if you're playing multiplayer, he sucks. No, in multiplayer, he's basically just a Sonic. But well, with two no. tails, yellow fur. No, in story mode. No, in story mode. Well, you just said multiplayer, though. Multiplayer story mode. There is no multiplayer story mode. Dude, where you can play as. Uh... I know you can play as him in the story mode. But uh, just only, just only barely though. Tails yes. get off. Oh good, tails, tails got off. Tails, you got off. Oh, kill you. Yeah, yeah, by the slicer. Johnny hates slicers. Okay, I Jordan, I didn't plan slicers. for you. I didn't plan for you to be in this episode, Jordan. By the I, way. I know. So leave. Oh, what the frick? I killed him. They're, they're moving. Hey, oh crap. They is that, is that a fact? Is that a fact? Dang it, I don't have any rank. We need to go back. Oh. Wait, was that an extra life monitor? No. Couldn't tell. I don't know. I probably. Oh, thank goodness I hit a checkpoint. Okay. Hey, thank goodness I have some rings. Gotta go back around. Jordan, please work okay, good, thank you. I don't need the sound of a washing machine to interrupt this joyous, um, joyous time. Slicers! Can't hurt me. Freak you. Stupid thing. Stupid insect. That's what you freaking are. Oh! Ah, so if it isn't slice, it's just either those freaking crabs or freaking shell crackers or something, whatever the freaking call it. But it's nice because, you know, once you defeat them... Dang it. I get that, Jordan. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna finish the thing. Wait, Tails is constantly flying. That's nice. That's Tails nice. was constantly flying. So I gotta finish this before um, anything happens. I don't know if I'll make it. You know what? I'm gonna just beat Metropolis Zone. Actually, no, screw that. Uh, once I finish Act 2 of this.